Oh boy. Yo guys, what is going on? Jake here. It is Saturday, a beautiful, nice sunny day, nice sunny video, which you guys know means I am not trapped in my office in the week. We are out and about having a great little weekend, and today, guys, I want to talk about my favorite GoPro accessory. Now, it's probably my least favorite accessory to see people using because it just looks stupid, it's so obnoxious, but that happens to be the selfie stick. So guys, the selfie stick looks really stupid, but that being said, I have definitely found it to be the most useful. It gives you a ton of flexibility to get a lot of really interesting shots with a GoPro, and really, when you're stuck with a fixed look like the GoPro, it's nice to have a tool that lets you get some sort of different looking footage. So we're gonna talk through some of the shots that I really like to use this selfie stick for, and why I think it's just so dang good, and why I think you guys should definitely consider getting one if you have a GoPro. All right, guys, so the first shot that the GoPro selfie stick really helps with is vlogging, believe it or not. It's the same reason I use a Joby tripod just like every other YouTuber in the world when you're vlogging with a nice camera is because it bumps the camera up out of your hand and you don't get that effect where like the hand is sort of in the shot and you kind of see it. In nicer cameras, it doesn't really matter as much. With a GoPro, it looks really bad, so let's show that right now. All right, guys, so here is the GoPro without the selfie stick. You will notice that my arm just looks really, really kind of lame when vlogging with the GoPro like this. It's really out there, and it's just that wide-angle distortion does not look good. But let's throw in the selfie stick. And now, guys, we are in the selfie stick. I also noticed in that last shot, my hand even made it into the clip with that wide angle. But with the selfie stick, and I don't even have it extended at all, you guys will just notice that this looks a lot more like kind of what you would see from a vlogger instead of having the big old arm hanging in the middle of the frame. So, selfie stick for the win when vlogging. All right, guys, and the next shot that I love having the GoPro selfie stick for is the nice low shots that are super accessible with a selfie stick, and it allows it to be really smooth because it's extended from your arm, it's down low to the ground, you get a really cool look, and it doesn't have to be super jerky because a lot of times when you're trying to bend over and just hold the GoPro in your hand, it gets really bumpy. So let's show some examples of that. It is cold out here, but it is a beautiful day, guys. I, I am just so stoked to be outside.
All right, guys, so we have talked the low shots, we have talked the vlogging shots, but really, this next category, category number three, why the selfie stick rocks, is kind of a low shot, but it's a very specific shot, and that is the epic slow motion behind your feet walking shot. If you're by yourself, that shot is pretty darn hard to get. If you're like Peter McKinnon and Maddie Hapoy and you guys shoot together, super easy to get that shot because you can follow each other's legs, but what if you're like me? What if you're out just running and gunning, don't have someone who helps you shoot, unless it's Carly occasionally, but otherwise, having that selfie stick to extend out, throw it down behind your legs, throw it in that 120 frames or even 240 frames that the GoPro can do, and you get that awesome slow motion walking. YouTubers love it, we all love it. It's great, guys. Get that sweet behind the legs shot with the selfie stick. Alright guys, and with that, I think we are going to wrap up this video. So, in sort of retro, let's just recall, the selfie stick rocks because it makes vlogging look a little bit more professional. With the GoPro, you get those nice low shots, and it's just a nice way to film yourself, film those behind the feet shots, the in front of you shots, you name it, it's just a good little tool paired with the new GoPro Hero 7 stabilization to get you some really nice different angles and different shots that maybe you wouldn't have gotten before. But yeah, guys, I am loving the new GoPro Hero 7 Black. That camera is just super, super duper awesome. If you guys are enjoying it as well, comment down below. If you guys don't have one, I've done a ton of videos. I've got a lot of sample footage on my channel. Make sure to go check those out. But yeah, I'm done for the day. Also, go get a selfie stick if you guys don't have one. It's a great little tool to pair with your GoPro. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.